Garnett. This is another Higher Things video short. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Jesus from the cross tells us what hell is. It's to be forsaken by God. Quote Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far away from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Psalm 22, written by David a thousand or so years earlier, prayed by Jesus from the cross. Yet you are holy and thrown in the praises of Israel. God, in all his holiness, in all his just judgment, in all his godness, turns his goodness away from Jesus as Jesus hangs there answering for your crimes. He that knew no sin becomes your sin so that you might become the very righteousness of God. He, abandoned by God so that you would never be abandoned by God. And that's really our hope. On the cross, Jesus becomes everything that God hates. Everything that you he hates in you. And to say that he doesn't hate sin is to deny the fact that God can't stand sin and thus can't stand sinners. The scripture's full of that. And so there's not that he finds something inside of you that's lovable. No, he didn't he turns his back on his son rather than turn his back on you. He, he flings all the judgment and wrath that God has for sinners at his son. And by his son's death on the cross, you and I are, are, are healed. I am a worm and not a man, says the psalmist, scorned by mankind, despised by the people of Israel. That's, that's what's going on with Jesus. So it will never go on with you and me. That's what's going on with Jesus so that you and I might be saved from our sins, saved from death, and saved from everlasting damnation. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a raving and roaring lion. I am poured out like ro- water. My bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It's melted within my breast. Here is God fulfilling all that he promised And we are saved. So when you think you're abandoned, when you think that God is angry with you, when someone says God is mad at you for what you've done, point to Jesus on Good Friday, abandoned by God, and take comfort. Your sins, all of them, are forgiven. Not because you are forgivable, but because Jesus was unforgivable for you. And you now are all that he is right before God, a son of God, forgiven. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short.